his one, you know, first name, not their whole name, right? Who cares about their last name? So when you act, when you say their full name, they're automatically going to be on guard. Because if you, if, especially if you say the full name, my only my mom says Eddie Carroll Cartwright, you know, so or whatever. That's my birth name, but so just their first name. Hey, is this Mark? You know, then they're they're more adaptable. Hey, is this Mark? Yeah, Re I'm really sorry to hear what happened, right? With the ordeal, I totally get it, right? So you, you definitely want to build rapport because you already know what they've been through. You already got a good idea of. of what an ordeal. I mean, this is an ugly ordeal that lasts like a year, two years, sometimes five years. So when they go through these cases, it's brutal. It's ugly. So even if you came there like with the light of hope, they're not gonna believe you unless you understand where they've been. Then they'll hear, you know, where, where you are today. So you have to be able to dig them out of hell by understanding what hell's like, because it's hell, you know, because you don't know what's going to happen, a bunch of time passes, it's ugly, right? There's fear, there's not knowing, and the task is impossible. You, they can't fix the problem. They literally can't fix the problem. So it's only till it happens, after it happens, then it solidifies it so that you can fix it. But then they don't know that they can do anything about it. Right? So what you want to do is you have to be able to see it from their viewpoint, not yours, not from a desk, not from your, your point of view, but from their point of view, because in their mind, the only music that plays is with them. You know what with them is? What's in it for me? Right? You interrupted their time. You interrupted their day. Maybe they have nothing going on. Maybe they're just looking at Facebook, but still, people, you know. And maybe it's, you're the most interesting guy that's called the whole day. The bottom line is uh -huh. to, to empathize with them first. First name, empathize. You're a real person. You're Richard, right? And Richard is calling Mark. And man, Mark, I know what you've been through. It totally sucks. I totally get what you've done. But like me, you're not going to believe what I'm going to tell you. But there is actually something you could get from me. And I'm going to help you get it. I'm going to help you make sure you get the last $5,000 that's left on the plate for you that you nobody's going to tell you you could get. And in fact, you only have nine days left. And if you don't respond in the next nine days, you'll lose the five grand. And then if you hear later, you'll find out that you'll never be able to get it again because it's time sensitive, right? I know that because I've been through it, right? I know the process. I was scared to death. Does that make sense? Yeah. It actually helps. Uh, I feel like I figured it out you, after this. You know what I'm talking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like you're you're richer. You're talking to another human being that has a job, that has a family, that has maybe a wife. This They just got a divorce. You know, they got problems just like you do. $5,000 can, it's probably a hundred times more than they have in their bank account. That's the impact it makes, right? And you know, but they just don't understand. And, and people who, I mean, they're afraid. People are afraid of things they don't understand. So you gotta make it simple. It's two pieces of paper. You autograph that and give you five grand. You know, so that you don't miss out on it. What's in it for us? It's an investment. We make a little bit more. So, but we have, we have the access to make it happen.